Okay. So, whenever we get into a game on this one, I can do the Kensai Samurai, which is what we're going to be doing. And the Kensai Samurai is really good because he's kind of, he's a vanguard character. Which means he doesn't do the best damage, but he's got good defenses. He's not the fastest either. He's got good damage, decent damage, good defenses, not the fastest. Then the last type of character is a heavy. Good damage, great defense, not on your toes at all <laughs> don't even try to dodge just block constantly but the thing is you know you're supposed to have decent damage as a vanguard the kensai honestly has just really fucking good damage like more so than the other vanguards in my opinion because a lot of his uh utility comes from like if you have your analog stick up to where he's in his upward stance if you do three uh, heavy attacks, or even if you like light swing, light swing, then switch up for a heavy attack, his blade catches fire, and he has an unblockable upward heavy swing, and it's just so good for damage. Uh, aside from that, he's really good at interrupting. His light attacks are like hilt smacks and whatnot. It's it's good for interrupting. So as long as you can, he's one of those characters to where like you may not just be dropping bodies at first glance but you are going to be able to put out good damage reliably and powerfully like watch this one two boom unblockable and thanks to me paired with this guy already getting hurt they're injured so what we're going to do is we're going to follow them follow them to this point Unblockable, boom. Mm. Mm. Boom. See, if you just take your time with him, he can be very powerful. So we're capturing zone C right now, hopefully before anyone gets back, so we can heal up a little bit. Um, another good thing about the Kensei is his pa one of his passive abilities, his stamina just regenerates faster. So that's more blocking, more power attacking. It's good. It's really good. I don't see anybody. Unfortunately, this zone is really close to their base, so I kind of want to like protect it because since it's so close to their base, if I leave it, they can get it back rather quickly. So we're just going to... But I also don't want you guys to be bored just waiting for me to protect this shit, so we're going to jump on down and we're going to... Go to town. Oh shit. Let's break his guard. Onisho. Wow, I died to random bitch grunts. Wow. But as you can see, instead of taking three upward heavy swings, it only takes two if you break their guard first. Which means when it comes to like breaking someone's guard and following up, the Kensei is right there. And I, he is not my favorite of the samurai so far. Currently, my favorite of the samurai, probably the Orochi. Just because if you're, I've seen like, oh, I could have respawned anytime. I'm sorry. Just because like, if you're really good with the Orochi, you can go an entire fucking match without being hit. And you don't need to block either. You can just dodge and like parry and repost. And coming from the Dark Souls background that I do, um, that's just the better option to me. Huh. <laughs> Off with your head. Execution. <laughs> Off with your head. It's another cool thing. If you unlock with him, since his sword is so big, he can just mow down these basic bitch grunts. Look at that. Let me 
the way I like to think of the Kensei is like he's like Anakin uh, or Darth Vader from Star Wars. He uses the Shien form of lightsaber content, so his from up to downward strikes are really just his bread and butter. And thanks to his quick and stamina regeneration, boom, we are already back into the fray of this shit. Nope. I am not letting you revive your bro. Alright, so C is up here and they actually currently have that, but since we just dropped all of them, I'm going to come up here, capture it for the squad, and use it as a heal. Another cool thing, I actually have second wind, so I can pop second wind to recover some of my health. And to make things even better, check this out. The Kensei can use Inspire. So everyone near me, all my allies, get an attack bonus. And our basic bitch grunts get a... Uh, get a uh, fighting speed increase. Boom. See how much damage we just did together? The Kensei is great. If you like playing uh, tankier characters, totally the way to go. Boom. Ugh. Second wind. Alright, so I'm going to kill this guy. And then I'm going to start rezzing my teammate. Rez my teammate. As you can see, close quarters fighting, he can really just start to mow people down. There's the final bitch. And we're going to throw down the rain of arrows. And dead. Victory. He's just a, such a good support character. He's able to easily cleave down bitches to take down B. 16. 16 takedowns. He's so good. He's got a self-heal. He's got a team-wide buff that lasts for a little while. He has quicker stamina regeneration for more blocking and power attacking, which is what really puts in the damage. And you saw that huge ability of arrows. You can mow down the entire enemy with that or insta-kill all the enemy teammates as long as you know what you're doing. So, in my opinion, Kensei, very great. I love him. Once again, he's probably the samurai that I'm the best with, but he's not my favorite. <laughs> so it's one of those situations. But either way, that was the Kensei. I hope you all enjoyed it. So since we're lurking from the bottom up, actually, mirrored, so for you guys it'll be the bottom up. The next up on our list will be the Berserker Viking. So either way, I will see you all in that episode.